What's up everybody? This is Google Ron again from Movalo and in this video we are going to talk about running expert level of online dating. So this video is going to be for guys aged between 18 and 50 years old. Stay tuned for this video because we are gonna give away free profile audits so your profile will get audited by me. I will reveal in the video how I'm gonna do this exactly so if you are interested in getting a free profile review make sure to stay until the end so you can get one for free. The purpose of this video is to give you a glimpse into how it is if you are one of the better people on a dating platform because they get a lot of questions and some people they complain a lot because they get nothing. They don't get any matches and when they get matches they don't get any dates. For those guys I want to give you a glimpse of the life like how it is to have expert online dating level like being at the top of the food chain so to say. Let's just jump into it. First off, there are levels to the system. So what you need to uh, take into consideration is some people, they think they are amazing when they get a date a week. Some people, they think they are amazing because they get matches. There are tiers to it. Let's say you get like five dates a week. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're extremely good. And it also doesn't mean if you only get a date every other week, it also doesn't mean that you're bad at online dating. Because I've seen guys who got multiple dates a week, but the only thing that they got is they look nice, they look very good, and that's the only reason why they are getting any of these dates and I've also seen guys who are very good at texting but they only date like one date every other week the date quality is way higher so there is levels to this and it's based on like person to person it's very difficult to compare yourself in anything I can have like a twin person and that twin person might be like better looking or that twin person might live in a city that's way easier for example if you are in New York you're gonna have like way more success than if you drop me in like the middle of nowhere where there are 5,000 people around of course I'm not gonna have like five days in the next week so there's a lot of things you can take into consideration when we are talking about like what are the results but I just want to give you guys a broad range of like what you can expect you probably realize what the most important thing is but the most important thing is your profile if you are amazing at taxing but your profile is in the picture of a homeless person who's living on the street you are not getting any dates being good looking is a part of it but making sure you look good in pictures is a second part of it so some people are more photogenic and if you are not photogenic you should be making a gazillion photos like one time I had a photo shoot that was just one fucking picture and I took 500 pictures just to get one good one and I'm not even an Instagram model hey so <laughs> the reality is that if you want to have a great profile you are going to be taking a lot of pictures because pictures are the most important thing to your profile and therefore online dating there's a lot to them as well best way to get good photos is hire a photographer who is able to shoot good pictures and make sure that you actually ask for their pictures and ask for recommendations we actually have a guide about taking pictures on our website so check that one out and we also have it about editing because editing is huge as well when you want to have great pictures like we can have a client that has mediocre to bad pictures and we can add like one point or 1.5 point on their attractiveness purely by adding a picture so editing pictures is a massively important thing as well so keep that also in mind so the first thing is having a great profile that's how it is yeah sorry like I wish I could tell you like hey listen you can just have like horrible pictures back in the day when I had horrible pictures I know like matches were just not there and the quality that I would expect to get were not there. So picture is the most important thing, spend a gazillion time on this. The way you should compare your profile is having like a resume in which you attract your significant other, right? So let's say you switch for a job, you are going to spend a couple of hours at least making a resume for your new job because you want to impress a new job. Some people even like they do extra things purely to get a land a better job. That's the same how you should see this. Like your only dating profile is your resume of like, your love life therefore sometimes it might be good to fake for example an activity that might work good on a picture for example you pick up a guitar and you pretend to play the guitar doesn't necessarily have to be that you play the guitar but that's a whole lot more interesting than standing against the white wall next stop that you're gonna do is texting if you are going to have a conversation and you're gonna start the conversation with hey hello how are you you are probably not very good if your profile is amazing you're probably gonna land a date here and there but besides that it's just not it's not worth it. By the way, if you want to have some good openers, uh, sign up to our newsletters. We give away three very high converting opening lines that you get like 50 to 90% response rate on. So use those because those are actually good. Texting is kind of divided in three sections. So the opening section is so making sure there's some sort of reaction coming from her. Then you have the section where you attract her, get to know her, all those kind of things. And then the 
and, and sequence, which is like getting to the closing part where you actually hopefully eventually go on a date with her because that's the purpose. We're not doing this just to entertain ourselves. So yeah, texting is a big thing and it is a little bit abstract, I would say. Like it, it has a lot of variables in it. Like who, what's the girl? How does she perceive you? What's the situation with the conversation? But keep that in mind that like if you are an expert at online dating, you need to be an expert at how to message women. That's massively important. And if you're gonna use the hey, how are you as opener, then um, I can tell you that you're not an expert at it. Next part is channels. An important part about doing a successful on a, like a bigger scale and more professional is doing multiple channels. I see a lot of people that just have one channel, then their channel is Tinder or their channel is Match or Hinge, Bumble, whatever. You don't have to stick to that one. You can use multiple. And if you really want to take it very serious, then you are running multiple. There are slight differences. For example, Tinder in general is more of a hookup date versus Bumble and Hitch, which are more towards the serious side, which is not a given thing, but that's how it goes. So if you want to get great results, use multiple channels. The more, the better in general. Of course, what comes with using a lot of channels? Time. Time is massive. If you want to run like very good online dating, you are going to spend a lot of time on dating apps and on your messenger and on WhatsApp and on Instagram. You're going to use platforms a lot because is needed is required definitely if you are in the middle of a conversation for example with a girl you have to be spending sometimes five minutes to up to 30 minutes just with that one conversation that might that 30 minute conversation might lead to a date next week or whatever but that is the requirement you cannot be spending five minutes in the morning and five minutes at night and expect hey you're gonna be getting a ton of dates and everything is gonna be amazing that's not how it goes definitely if you are running multiple channels so that's massive it's massive the fact that you have to spend a bunch of time that's also why it's not feasible for everyone to be having to be an expert at this that's not feasible it's also not required and most guys should be focusing on their normal life and maybe for a short period of time get good with online dating and fix that area but then move on to the next part and run a business or get a cool hobby you know start fitnessing all those kind of things it requires a lot of time definitely if you want to get good results it's going to require you to put in a lot of time when you are at a very high level with online dating one thing that you will see is you are getting a very high conversion rate compared to other people so other people they will need an x amount like let's say 20 conversations before they actually end up with a date and you might only take like five or you might only like like three i say goes in reality like talking to girls like if you're very good you can get success very well because you're able to convert conversations so much better all those times that a conversation can go badly you're able to make it better therefore your results are going to be better when you are running like expert level with online dating your conversation rate is going to be through the roof which also means that you're going to be having 10 20 conversations when you open your chat there's just so many people are going to be replying so that's also where the time comes from another side note that experts do and what I see people that are new or bad at it don't do is the whole reopening part definitely reopening in a successful way so reopening conversations that's massively important if you want to be successful because you will get lost she will get lost a lot of things happen during your life maybe she opens her chat conversation and then maybe a colleague says something to her and she forgets about it goes to her Instagram and forgets that she ever opened your conversation therefore she's not gonna reply so reopening is massive if you want to reach expert level one side effect about being very good with online dating is that you will be in a position to have a lot of dates if you want to have that and that can also cost a lot of time but for example a friend of mine one week he had 10 dates so he had like three days where he had like multiple dates on that time so he had a date at six and he had a date at ten that requires so much time and mental energy and stuff like that most people don't necessarily choose for that even if they are an expert level like I would never want to have 10 dates in a week it would just not be something that I would enjoy I prefer to have like max four dates in a week that's like the top of my limit I'm fine with doing that so dating part is a big thing besides that like how actually dates are run that's another big thing so what you are uh, seeing with people who are new to online dating and new to like how to optimize your dating with those people they are not experienced with how to set up dating sequence so they're not experienced like okay how do you run an effective date because their date is like okay we're gonna do something or we're gonna go see a movie or whatever they want to do that's not effective and like how to convert those dates even worse so when you are good 
good at online dating in general because you've had probably like over a hundred dates you are going to be good at dating so therefore your dates are also going to have a high conversion rate to whatever the thing is that you want to do like some people they want to get into relationships and they know how to do that very quickly how to bond with people very quickly and other people they will sleep around like very quickly so they're they will hook up a lot on the first date. Now for some other points that are maybe less enjoyable. First is, girls are gonna fall in love with you. Of course that's enjoyable and it's nice, but if you are just looking to meet some fun people and you get a girl that's head over heels in love with you, then you're a little bit, little bit like, whoa. You will have to deal with the fact that there is gonna be a bunch of girls who are gonna fall in love with you. Like that's a big thing if you are an expert with online dating is there's gonna be so many girls that are like heavily into you that you still need to deal with like it's not just like hey we hooked up and then you ban them or you block them like that's the thing don't do those kind of things you need to manage that properly manage the expectations of the girl properly those are things that come into play when you're um, dating that many girls and when you want to get something out of it and out of this situation so that's an important one as well another interesting side effect is when you get reached an expert level in online dating is girls become less valuable and I don't necessarily want to see, say that in a demeaning way, but I know guys that haven't had sex in like fucking forever and then they, a girl gives them a little bit of attention and they drop everything. They drop their work, their friends, they cancel on their friends, they cancel on their family. Everything gets cancelled because there's one girl that showed some interest in this guy and that's, this, that's the thing that you don't want to happen, right? Like you want to live your own life. Girl joins that life that you're having. You don't want to be having like, hey, by the way, I life except when with you because then I drop everything and I don't work out anymore all those kind of things if you reach to the stage where you're an expert in online dating you will have that less because girls will become more normal to have around two points that that you are going to be enjoying if you reach expert level and what I see a lot with guys who reach that is they have a very high level of confidence and you get a lot of abundance because there are just more girls around so you feel more at ease and you feel more confident it's also that having girls around you is um, other people like it as well and if I hang out with a guy I prefer him to have a successful love life I also prefer him to have a successful business and be healthy all those kind of things so people will be interested in you and will value you more how weird that sounds based on like how good your dating life is people evaluate you on everything and one of those things is um, how successful is that person with the other sex now I do want to give you guys some tips on the things that you can be doing get you more towards that expert level because in general I'm not gonna lie it's very good to be very good at online dating it's it's, it's very pleasant to um, have a lot of girls that you can get to online dating without leaving the house and just chilling at the couch and just texting so there's three things to get fast to do that stage and uh, one is take a real good look at your profile your profile is massively important as discussed before so work on that and what I can do for you guys is for the first 100 subscribers to our YouTube channel I will be giving away a profile analysis so I will be evaluating your profile and telling you hey listen these are the things that you need to do different how to get your profile to the next level this will be free of charge just a free giveaway so if you're interested subscribe and leave a comment then I'll get in touch with you okay next up there's the texting part you need to get better at texting so for or how to get better at texting is just do it a lot and read about it read our website check out our videos we're actually working on a product right now on like how to be better at texting and the whole shebang around online dating also evaluate the texting like when you are texting with a person think like okay where am I in this conversation and if I want to get from A to point B like what do I need to do right now all right next up practice practice I know it's so easy if you want to get better at this just like if you want to get better at football you you gotta be doing it a lot. Open up more channels next to Tinder, get on Bumble or get on Hinge or if you are already on Hinge and you're like Tinder is just for hookups, I hate Tinder. Still go on it just to practice and just to get experience with like how to do the texting. And for example, what you can even do is, let's say you use one channel purely for testing. So you can even just testing and then you check out our openers and you're like, hey wait, 
let me test out this opener, just go on, on Tinder and just use our opener on Tinder and then you're like, hey, yeah, shit, his, Tinder, his opener works very well. And then you can use those um, openers that we give you on your main channel that you're running. So those are the three things that you can be doing to reach that expert level quicker. Okay, this is actually what we do as a business. So for Hovalo, Hovalo actually takes over the profiles of our customers. So our customers don't have to go through the whole shebang. We do the part like we take over their profile, we optimize their profile, help with photo shoots and do the texting part all the way to setting up the dates. Our clients can just lay back, be comfortable and wait till dates get set up. If you have the time on your hands to do it yourself, I always recommend you just, just do it yourself. If you liked the video, please like the video. It helps us out a lot. So that would be amazing. Leave the comment. If you have any questions, let me know. If you are interested in the profile um, analysis, leave a comment as well and subscribe to our channel. And thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.